We've seen how subqueries can be used in the WHERE clause of a SELECT statement in order to filter based on the results of the subquery. But you can also use subqueries in a couple of other places, and in this video we're going to look at using subqueries in the FROM and JOIN slots of the SELECT statement. So let me start with um, an example from last week. I'm going to open the uh, week four aggregation.sql file. And the last query that we were working on was uh, this one right here. So um, copy this over here into week five. And this is using the names database. So I'll use names and then paste that query in and then execute it. So this was finding um, babies with the name baby, infant, and unknown, and throwing it up in a table that showed the counts side by side. Um, but because every name wasn't used in every year, we're missing a lot of rows here. So we don't have anything from 1915 up through 1982. And in the previous video, I had tried doing something like this, is null, actually, let me fix that, is null baby.name comma baby, and is null infant.name comma infant, and is null unknown dot name comma unknown. And since this is doing a full join, the idea here was to end up with one row for each year, even if there were um, names that didn't occur in that particular year. But when I tried executing this query, it took a long time. Um, so this time I'm going to execute or I'm going to rewrite the query to use subqueries in these join clauses. And so let's start with um, basically the same thing. Make another copy of this. And this first table here, this first all data, is going to be all of the rows that have the name baby in them. And I'm going to put a subquery here that just filters those out. So from, so that's where my subquery is going to be. And here's the query itself. Select star from all data where name is baby. So this is going to return a table that only has the rows in it where the name is baby. And by doing pre-filtering here, I've reduced the amount of work that has to be done in these joins. And then I'm going to do the same thing here for infant. So that's where my subquery is going to go. And then my subquery is select star from all data where name is infant. And then finally, the same thing here. So I've replaced the table with a subquery that returns a table of values. And then this alias I already had from before, but this actually turns out to be really important when you're using a table in a subquery in the from or join slot. So you need to have as table name here. And then since I'm doing this filtering here, 
The join is going to do a lot less work. And if I execute this now, see, that was virtually instantaneous. And you'll see I have results for all years, 1915 through 2014. And now I can pick out just the columns I want. So let's go ahead and uh, here, I'm going to do is null baby.year comma is null infant.year comma and then unknown.year and then for baby name I'm just going to have baby actually I don't so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this column entirely and then just shorten that and let me get rid of the running counts and get rid of this column and let's do infant And we'll get rid of these and do unknown. And get rid of those. So here are some selected columns from the results that I had before. And then for ordering by year, what I actually want here is is null baby.year comma is null should be uppercase baby.year infant.year comma unknown.year uh, get rid of that okay so let's execute this query And I also need, because I have this in the order by now, I also need to add baby.year, infant.year, unknown.year. There. So there's my summary results. And what I might want to do here is have zeros in these columns if there are no other values. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well using is null. So if is null that, I'm going to return zero. And if is null that, I'm going to return zero. And if is null that, I'm going to return zero. Yeah. There. So here's the final query with the right columns picked out. Now, another example of using a subquery in the from clause is back here where we used the windowed functions to select various aggregated values for some calculations. So let me copy that query here as well. And I'm going to execute that. So what I have is uh, for each year, both the male and females, um, number of babies with that gender, number of babies with the other gender, and so on. Um, but I really have two copies of each piece of information. So for example, this 
row and this row are basically the same piece of information, just one from the female point of view and one from the male point of view. And I really don't want to have both things here, but I'm sort of forced to the way the query is currently written because I can't add a clause. What I'd like to do, for example, is add a clause that says like, and gender equals male to only get one of those rows. But this isn't going to work because if I filter those rows out, then they're not going to get into my aggregate totals. So let's execute that. And you see other gender count is zero for all of these rows because I filtered out all of the female rows before I did my partition by your name. And so these aggregate values aren't right because I didn't include the female rows. So I can either include the female rows and get the correct aggregate values, or I can filter out the female ro rows. And now I get the right rows, but I don't get the right aggregate values. So how do I fix that? Well, easy way to fix it is to put this whole thing in a, in a subquery. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that. And that's going to be my new subquery. I'm going to wrap this inside of select star from. And then here I'm going to put in my subquery. And have to give it an alias. And we'll just execute that. So it should return the same thing. I can't have an order by inside of a subquery when using it as a table expression. But I can put it here. Order by year, comma. And I'm not going to need to order by gender here. Right. So here's the same data I got before, but in this outer query, since the aggregations already happened in the subquery, I can add an additional where gender is male. And now I've gotten the correctly aggregated results over both genders, but I'm only returning the rows for males here. And so I can change these column headers to make a little more sense. Now I can change them in the subquery or I can change them in the outer query. So I can say, for example, um, so I want to include year and we'll include name and uh, we won't include gender, but we will include this gender count as males and we'll include other gender count as females and uh, do I want to include the rest of these yeah let's go ahead and inc include um, total across all gen uh, total across all genders and percent of babies with male gender percent male and percent female so let's do as percent male. And we'll also include this column. Um, let's see, where did I mess up? I'm missing a double quote. And let's see, where else? Incorrect syntax near all genders, line 189. Oh, um, yeah, so this should have been, I messed that line up entirely. 
That should have been total across all genders. I put the double quote in the wrong place because that's just a column name. And then I don't, yeah, I do have name count, but it's called this gender count. Actually, what I want here is just that. Okay, so I confused myself a little bit, but let's go ahead and try it now. And it works. So I have year, name, count for male, count for female, the total, percent male, and let's go ahead and add percent female. So here's the percent male. The percent female is just going to be 100 minus that. And uh, the problem here is that uh, this thing is returning a string. So let's not do that part here. Let's return it as a number. And then here we'll do the conversion. So this thing is going to be stir of that. And this thing is going to be stir of that. There. And I could have done the calculation of female in the subquery instead of in the outer query as well. There. OK. So 97.2 plus 2.8, 99.1 plus 0.9. And so this gives me everything I need.